Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a historical Imgur password breach. You might have heard of the site called Imgur. I'm actually not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but that's imgur.com, which is a popular site where you can host images and share them online for others to just link to. In any case, this popular site just reported a password and username breach this week. They learned of the breach from Troy Hunt, a security researcher that monitors the underground for criminals selling leaked password databases. In any case, they report that 1.7 million Imgur users have had their email address, which is their login, and their hashed credentials stolen. So like all password breaches, this means that uh, bad guys might be able to crack your password, and if you use the same password at other sites where you log in with your email, they may be able to leverage that to log into other sites as well. Now the truth is, I don't think this Imgur password breach is as big a deal as some others because first of all, this is kind of an anonymous site where you don't submit any of your other personally identifiable information. So things like your name, real name, address, credit card, none of that is in this particular data breach at all. On top of that, I'm an Imgur user and you can use Imgur anonymously. You don't need an account to just upload a picture and get a link that you can share with others. So one of the reasons the site is so popular as many people use it anonymously without a login, which is why I suspect there's only 1.7 million user details. That said, there's one thing in particular I think we can learn from this breach. As it turned out, this breach happened in 2014. When Troy Hunt told them about this issue, they did forensic research and found out that the breach happened long ago. And this is a very important learning step. Why does it take companies so long to detect breaches? I I believe it's because we have a lot of preventative tools and while those preventative tools share a lot of log information when they block threats, we don't have the right tools to monitor internal networks to actually find out when we're breached. And despite some of the best preventative tools in the world, every company will still have security incidents. So you definitely need threat detection and response tools like for instance WatchGuard's product threat detection and response as it can actually highlight when you have malware or some sort of breach within your network. So anyways, practical takeaways for users. First of all, if you run a website where you have credentials from your users, don't use a silly old hashing algorithm like MD5 or SHA-256 without at least adding a salt, which is something that Imgur didn't do at the time. On top of that, there's new hashing algorithms like Bcrypt, which are just much stronger. They're much harder for people to brute force. So I highly recommend you use algorithms like Bcrypt if you have hashes for your users' passwords. Two, if you actually have an Imgur login, you need to go change your credentials now. You've probably heard all my password tips before, but one of them is you can't use the same password at every site. I recommend password managers so that you can manage many different passwords. More importantly, when sites do allow multi-factor authentication, I highly recommend it. And finally, as I mentioned, if you're a company that's trying to prevent security issues in your organization, you have probably a bunch of preventative security controls, which are great, you should continue to use them. But consider investing in threat detection and response, tools that actually monitor your internal network and your endpoints to try to find out when something has gotten past your defenses, and they can actually also sometimes respond to or clean up those breaches as well. In any case, interesting story. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.